All right, so let's look at actually installing Nix now. I'm gonna do this on a clean Ubuntu install, but really any Linux distribution will work or even OSX, pretty much the same thing. So all we really have to do is run curl on the install script and pipe it to sh. Obviously you might be a little skeptical about that, so you can look at the install file, it's pretty straightforward. So you're gonna to wanna to run this as a user it's going to download the core binary tarball and then unpack it. When it unpacks it, it's going to unpack it to slash nix slash store. So it's going to need to prompt you to enter your root password so it can do that via sudo. Uh, right now it's downloading the package database. So now it's installed. You can either log out and log in again, or if you don't want to do that, you can run this little expression it gives you here and it will evaluate your profile. Now we have access to the nix commands. So what we're going to do here is run nix shell dash p hello. And what that's going to do is give us a nix shell that uh, contains the hello program plus all of the development tools needed to build the hello program. Now we're not actually going to build it here, but it was just a simple way to demonstrate that nix is working without actually installing anything into our global package environment. I don't tend to install things into my global package environment much anyway, so the Nix shell is a good starting point. So here we can now run hello. We see it works. If we exit the shell and run hello, we see that it's not actually installed on the system. So that's all for now. In the next lesson, we'll dig a little bit more into the Nix expression language and some of the other Nix tools and see how this actually works.